Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Next.js. Today we are going to learn about how to add the skeleton loading in the Next.js. So basically, what do you mean by the skeleton loading? We are going to learn in this video. Let's get started. So first of all, we will check this package that is npm loading skeleton. Okay, so suppose if I go over here and just paste this, you can see the loading. So whenever you have a YouTube, right? By default, it's loading like this. Let me show you. I think they have the GitHub repository. Okay, and it's showing like this. You can see the lines. Okay, after successful fetching the data, it will show you the data. Okay, so we are going to implement this in our Next.js application. So what we have to do, we have to install this npm react loading skeleton. Okay, I will show you. I've already implemented in the, I think it's in the dashboard okay in the products okay so products no products i think no i think in the dashboard yeah it's in the dashboard page.txt yeah, it's in the dashboard right so let's check this dashboard so here it will go with the dashboard okay when loading the data you can see first there is a screen flash i will show you but it now let me go and just add. Okay, you can see before loading, this is called the skeleton, right? So this is the loading skeleton. How we are going to implement? Let's have a look on that one. Okay. So when, whenever, because, because you, you can see that it's a dashboard and it's calling the API. Oh, okay. So you there is a by default loading file into your any of your route project, right? So whether you want to create a dashboard, so you can create a loading.ts file where you want to add the loading. After that successful loading, it will show you the data, right? So this is, I have used this Re React loading skeleton over here. Okay. And here I'm setting the parameters, count, height, duration, and the width. Okay. So this is the loading that is showing, right? And uh, rest of the pages, you can see that if I have go with the about, okay. So here you can see there is a no loading, right? Because I haven't added. And if I go to the contact, there is no loading, right? If I go to the dashboard, you can see there is a loading because i'm calling the api after successful fetch it will show you the data right so you have to create the loading.ts and here export default loop function loading whatever data you want to do with the loading or something you can add it over here whether you go with a skeleton whether you go with a simple loading you can add it over here in the page.tsx this is our code where i am showing the data like i'm fetching the data from the products and rendering the data over here right this is the different part right so after you can see I haven't added in the page.tsx, you can see that I haven't added the loading anywhere. So it's a best practice in the next years that by default it giving the loading.ts. If it is a loading.ts, then it first loads after the successful fetching the data in the page.tsx automatically it renders. Okay, so this is how you can successfully implement in the skeleton loading into your next year's application any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day